Good morning and welcome to my Ultra Life. Today I'm in Auckland, New Zealand. And this morning I plan to explore part of Auckland in a little bit different way. They have something called the Coast to Coast Walk. Um, New Zealand is surrounded by water and it has at least two or three harbors uh, as part of the city. And they have a, a walk that's 16 kilometers long uh, in miles. And it goes from the Viaduct Tour, which is kind of a uh, marina for sporting boats and yachts and things like that, uh, up through the main downtown, which is right behind me, uh, and through some big parks. Uh, the city is, well, the city has at least 20 dormant volcanoes. And on this cultural walk, there are at least five volcanoes and they've made them into beautiful parks. Uh, so we'll, we'll run through Domain Park, we'll run through Mount Eden Park, uh, and hopefully make it all the way to Manukau uh, uh, Harbor, which is on the other side of the peninsula that makes up the city of Auckland. So should be an interesting, a uh, little bit different run this morning. Uh, it's kind of far, so I might be Ubering back. We'll have to see uh, how far I get and how far I get back. So uh, welcome to Auckland. Let's uh, discover a new, a new place, a new city. Just a short way from my hotel, I've uh, crossed a bridge and uh, made it to a large park in the center of the city called the Auckland Domain. Uh, this morning, a lot of runners out here, and it uh, looks like a beautiful place to spend a weekend and have a picnic. A very relaxing park, and uh, just the first part of our little tour this morning. This route takes you quickly out of the uh, downtown area, which isn't that big, uh, into the into the community with some uh, beautiful houses. On my way to uh, Mount Edna, another volcano. Beautiful community on a nice, quiet Saturday morning. running up Mount Edna, which is a uh, hopefully dormant volcano. This uh, coast to coast walk that's 16 kilometers is one of the top 10 tourist things to do here. What surprises me is that other than a map on a website, there doesn't seem to be any markings of a path or a trail. I mean, you're going through city streets and things, but have a marker. So I've been uh, a bit challenged checking the map off and to find out where the heck I am. But I think I found my way now here at Mount Edna. You all right? <laughs> All those little hills and bumps in the distance that you see are uh, old dormant volcanoes. They say the city has over 50 volcanoes and is surrounded by 20 islands. So it's a quite a rich history of uh, vol volcanism here in uh, Auckland. And here is a wonderful view of downtown Auckland with the uh, Auckland Bridge in the distance going over to another part of the city, an island I believe, and the Sky Tower. And this is the heart of uh, downtown Auckland. The city of Auckland is about 1.4 million people and the greater metropolitan area is about 1.57. So uh, lots of people 
most of the people living in the city, but uh, lots of outlying areas and there's ferries from the uh, Viaduct Harbor down just at the base of the city, uh, the downtown, that takes people all to the uh, outlying islands and areas around the city. Quite a beautiful Saturday morning. And here is the peak of uh, Mount Edna. Wow, it really is a volcanic crater. Look at this crater. The volcanoes here aren't very high, and they aren't very old either. They said they were formed just 50,000 years ago. So, uh, I suppose they could come alive at any time. But that's quite a crater, it must have been quite a blowout. Wow. Could that be the harbor where I'm supposed to go? I hope my phone battery lasts long enough for me to get there. Uh, for the first time, I see some markings for the coast to coast walkway. Uh, they don't look confusing at all. Uh, I think maybe I need to look for these little tiny markers along the way. Could be a big help. Well, the little trail markings for the coast to coast walkway seem to have ended at Mount Edna. So, uh, thanks to my Boy Scouts map and compass merit badge and a friendly Auckland woman. I think I found my way and uh, heading towards Manukau Harbor. This coast to coast route has me uh, running through lots of residential areas and communities and looking back I can see Mount Edna behind me so I was up there on the top. Right up there there's a small little structure uh, looking down into the crater. Uh, so I've run back down and through a community and now I'm going to run through to another uh, volcano called One Tree Domain. So all the, all the parks with big volcanoes uh, are called domains here. And uh, Mount Edna I think is the tallest one at 196 meters, so maybe 600 feet tall. So not that tall, but uh, it is a bit of a hilly little run. So the native people here in New Zealand are called the Maori, M-A-O-R-I, I believe. M-A-O-R-I, yeah, Maori people. But they're Polynesian. So Polynesian think Hawaii. And somehow they arrived here only around the 1300s. So before they were here, I'm not sure who was here. It doesn't seem to be anything that I've read so far. So they got here in the 1300s. We're here only about 500 years before the uh, British discovered New Zealand and uh, in about 1840. So they signed a peace treaty very soon after with the Maori people and everything seemed to be all hunky-dory until around the 1860s when the Maori Wars broke out and it was mostly uh, conflicts about land and uh, I'm not sure how long the war land lasted but there were definitely you know ships and cannons and shooting involved so uh, since that time people have lived here harmoniously and uh, Auckland has the largest, world's largest population of Polynesian people. And about one 
out of seven people here are considered to be Polynesian. So, a little bit of strife. So the obelisk up there is the top of one tree domain. I'm not really sure if I want to climb up that one. It's almost as tall as Mount Eden. But then again, how often do you get to run up two volcanoes in one morning? What the heck? Let's give it a try. Okay, back there at the cow warning sign. I was joking about the sheep, but they're sheep. I guess they must be city sheep. Just hanging out mowing the lawn here in the city park. Wow. Hey there, girl. Hey there. Hi. Good morning. Can I get you and take you home to my daughter? Hi there. Oh, oh, what a nice stretch. Good morning. Hi there. Wow, you are cute. Hi there. Good morning. My gosh, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, what a gorgeous morning. Sheep in the meadow at the base of a dormant volcano. Uh, maybe a good idea to get in shape before the trip, not during the trip. Oh my God. left Cromwell Park and one tree, do one hill tree domain and now running down uh, Manicool Road which should take me right down to the harbor and the completion of the coast to coast walk. Uh, it's a long walk, long run. The air is so crisp and clear. And sometimes you go past the flowers and the, the air just smells so sweet. Either that I've been running too long, I don't know. But I think I'm almost done. Just down to the harbor here. Well, I made it from my hotel uh, about a mile and a half from the other coast, from the Viaduct Harbor to uh, the Manakua Harbor uh, on the Coast to Coast Walkway. You know, most of the uh, sightseeing uh, things here in New Zealand are all outdoors, uh, hiking, climbing, boating. Uh, so what a beautiful way to experience the city of Auckland to get out and run the Coast to Coast Walkway. This morning I've uh, run through lots of parks and uh, residential areas, run up two different volcanoes, and uh, seen two different harbors. So what a beautiful way to spend a Saturday morning here in Auckland. I've had an ultra lifetime, and I hope you do too. Uh, I'm ready to go home. I think I'm going to Uber it. <laughs> There's that Hillary cough again. Uh, 